The South African Social Security Agency, or SASA, is set to defend the High Court's ruling on deductions. This comes after Social Services Minister intervened to stop deductions on social grants. One company involved in the saga, Net One, approached the court to obtain a de declaration order on the interpretation of the Social Assistance Act. This is the move Sasa is planning to oppose. In May, Sasa was called upon to brief members of Parliament's Standing Committee on Social Development about illegal deductions on Sasa grants. It emerged that beneficiaries lodged 10,000 disputes over deductions from their Sasa accounts between April 2015 and March 2016. In February alone, Sasa recorded some 46,000 queries. The social grants distribution is, is said to be a 120 billion rand business. It's World Refugee Day today and all eyes are on the campaign launched by the People's Coalition Against Xenophobia to protect asylum seekers. The anti-xenophobia group comprising of institutions such as the Corruption Watch, Lawyers for Human Rights and Doctors Without Borders is challenging the proposed Refugee Amendment Bill of August 2015. The group believes that the bill would roll back the rights of asylum seekers and refugees and that asylum seekers will face deportation if they fail to apply for refugee status within five days. Meanwhile, the SAHRC Human Rights Commission for South Africa has urged the United Nations to intensify efforts to end the conflicts and wars that are fueling the increase in the current refugee crisis. And going back to our top story, the South African Social Security Agency, SASA, is set to defend the High Court's ruling on deductions. SASA spokesperson Khomoko Diseko joins us on the line. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. Are you, as SASA, filing opposing court papers today? Yes, we are busy with uh, the final preparations for that uh, because the, the, there was also other new respondents which have also uh, put in applications. Now, we understand that the number of queries and disputes by benef beneficiaries is also growing. Tell us about the kinds of queries that you are receiving. No, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big amount of, of queries that we, we, are, we are receiving. So really, this, this matter is a, is a very serious one in, in, in terms of magnitude. So yeah, we, we, we just hope that uh, uh, you know, the court will give us a listening ear. And we also understand that Sasa is planning to file criminal charges against a bank. Uh, could you name this bank and why uh, file these charges against this bank? Well, the, the bank, is, it's, we, we filed charges against a company called Cash Pay Master Services and also a bank called Greenrod Bank. Greenrod Bank is the bank that we used to we use for purposes of transferring money from ourselves to the beneficiaries. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a service provider in other words. Mr. Deseko, thank you so much for that information there. That is the Sasa spokesperson, Homoko Deseko, who joins us on the phone line.